What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can master the corner routes from spread formations in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're wanting to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be continuing our series on the New England spread offense between the Devils Y Flex and the Spread Y Slot. I think these are two of the best spread formations in the entire game. And I think the New England Patriots playbook as a whole is the best playbook in the entire game. I think it will continue to follow that trend in Madden 22. And so if you wanna get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide where we literally go through every single formation in the New England Patriots playbook and give you guys effective plays and breakdowns, uh, you can get that down in the description uh, of this video. I'm gonna leave a link to the guide down below. Now, uh, what we're gonna do on this is we're gonna be going over this audible from the doubles formation, and we're gonna be audibling to the smash play at a spread wide slot. The smash play out of spread this year is really, really underrated. Not very many people realize how good these corner routes are, and so we're gonna talk about it in this video. So basically what you're gonna do is you've got the smash play in your audibles, and you're just gonna come out in your doubles just like normal. Um, and you can come out of whatever you want. You can come out in you know flood, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna audible. You're gonna see it's a very subtle audible. You just see the tight end move just like that. That's all that happens. Um, that's the extent of audibly. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you um, kind of two different ways to run the same concept. Uh, one to the right and one to the left. So we know firsthand just kind of the way that um, the way that this offensive scheme is kind of shaping up that typically what they're going to do with their user is they're going to use her on the tight end. That's kind of the, the general vibe because they, they don't have a seam zone there. So typically that's what they're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our tight end on a, uh, a post route just like this. We're going to smart route the triangle receiver. And that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to do from an adjustment perspective. If you want to, you can streak square, um, but you don't have to. And I'm going to show you why. So this is a cover three Mabel. I just want you to watch triangle. Uh, and you're going to see that triangle is going to get wide open. He got a little caught up on the zone right there. But I've got 30-yard um, – I want you to know i got 30-yard cloud flats on the field. And you're going to see that this is going to be a really, really fun little play. It's actually super underrated this year. So, um, again, I'm going to audible over to smash, put the tight end on a post, and smart route triangle. That's it. So you can snap it really quickly. Um, but what you're going to see is triangle is just going to get outside right there on the sideline, and you're going to be able to throw it. Now, again – um, if he does that little deal right there where you see he's kind of getting caught up, you don't have to smart route him um, if you don't want to. But the other thing that you can do to help kind of clear him out a little bit is like a simple little, if you motion to the left, you see, see how he's going to go onto the line of scrimmage? That's another little tactic that you can use. So you see I just motion to the left a little bit. Just going to get him on the line of scrimmage. And now you're, now you're going to see what I'm talking about. You see how open that is? That's a really unique thing from the spread offense that I think is super underrated. And so, again, this is going to force them to have to run some type of Tampa 2. They're not going to be able to just sit in cover 3 Mabel against you, and that's one of the biggest things that I love about this offense. So, um, again, we're just going to leverage this, if I can get to the audible, right audible here, smash. Um, and, again, if we run this 9 times out of 10, you should be able to not have any problem with triangle getting open. But right, right there on the sideline, that's what we're going to throw. So against Mike Blitz 3, it's wide open. The other cool part about this is let's say they run a cover 4 Mabel. Okay, This is something new that I don't think a lot of people run, but I actually think it's actually fairly effective. So uh, what I mean by cover 4 Mabel is basically they have cover 4 to the wide side, and then to the short side of the field, they're going to run cover 2 quarters. So something like that right there. Um, and then they're going to have the yellows in here. It basically just a dish gives them a kind of a better roll coverage technique. But anyways, I want you to watch this. Um, I just want you to watch the corner route again to the triangle receiver. So really simple setup. And then as you'll see here, the corner route's still getting wide open on the sideline. Now cover four does defend it a little bit better. Um, again, it's kind of an art to make sure that this corner, um, just to make sure that the corner zone or the corner route doesn't get like caught up by that flat for whatever reason out of this um just the alignment is a little wonky and that's where i say if you just motion him to the left 
it'll solve the problem. Um, it's not the best. I don't really like it because it, it doesn't allow us to run some other concepts that I like to run. But it's not it's not the big deal. You're going to do it so fast, you're not even going to know. But as you see, you see you got that nice little read. Okay? So there's a lot of stuff that they're going to have to do to stop this. Uh, but the first step they're going to take is to run cover two. Now, if you know anything about Smash, it's actually a play that's really designed to beat cover two. So, again, we're just going to run that same motion back. And I just want you to watch how this is going to play out. So uh, what you're going to see here is against cover two, um, it's going to be a tight throw, but it's still open. If you have gun senior, it's a lot better. Um, it's going to be a smooth little read against the cover two defense. Um, I would tell you that it's a little bit better of a read. If you know it's cover two or you're anticipating that it might be cover two, don't, if you don't motion that square receiver in, you're going to see that once he gets to the sideline, you, you, you see it's a little bit more tight. It's because the, it's, it, the biggest reason why uh, people are able to stop that route is if their cloud flat zone is outside of the route, um, which is also why um, another little thing that we can do like let's say we start like let's say they're starting to run cover two like this. This is where um, the whole idea of a smash concept really really makes a lot of sense. What you basically can do here um, is you can just low ball this hitch. As you can see right there, it's going to sit underneath. The corner route does such a good job because even if they double flat, this is a really important point. Important point. Even if they double flat, so you see here I have a curl flat zone at ten, a cloud flat at ten, and then I've got a vertical hook zone going in that direction. Even if they do all of that, this is why the smash concept I think is so underrated. The corner route pulls every zone with him. And so you could just lowball this really easily on the outside. Really simple and really, really effective. Okay. Um, so that's a that's a really easy way to run smash with their user on the left. Or on the or I apologize on the right. Now, um, let's talk about the backside concept. Uh, basically, it's a curl. It's basically, essentially, it's all curl. Um, but I just want to talk about it for just a moment. So, you know, what this is going to lend itself to is they're going to go left at the snap of the ball. They're going to have to go left at the snap of the ball. And so now you're going to be given a lot of opportunity on this other, on this backside. So if they go left at the snap of the ball now, um, you can just work this post. This post is super reliable over the middle. If you don't want to run him on a post or if you don't have hot master, then you can just run him on like a streak or a dig or even a curl route. Um, it's not that big of a deal. But post is what I like to run just because it's really good against man-to-man. -man. Um, again, if they go left at the snap of the ball, what you're also going to notice from this is once I go to smash, you're going to see that this route to the running back, um, if you, you can put him on an option route or you can leave him on that curl. You're just going to see he's going to be consistent as well. So you basically got a high-low between your post and your, uh, and your running back route, which, is, which I think is really effective. So then um, let's say, for example, they you know, play really, really aggressive to that left side. So you're going to see something like that. But then on this back side, they go with you know, something like that. Okay, so they're really, you know, kind of saying that they're not going to worry too much about the flat. They're going to try to really take away the middle of the field. Well, that's where this route to the circle uh, receiver comes in handy. So, got our setup really smooth. And then now what you're going to see is this yellow is going to get brought inside. And we can easily hit the hitch on the outside. As far as man coverage goes, uh, man coverage is really, I think, the best way to defend the play like this. Uh, zone coverage is not, is not sound against this. But this is why we have slot matic on, on Godwin. This is why we have our best receiver in the slot. Um, if he's got good route running and he can get off the jam, you're going to see that right there, and you're going to have a laser against that coverage. As you can see, you can you can actually beat cover two man for a one-play touchdown if you get a proper release uh, on that side of the field, which is really, really cool. So you also have your tight end against man. Now, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to say they're not going to use the tight end. I think that that's, you know, kind of, you know, dumb. If if you've ever defended this formation, everybody knows that you know where they're going to run a base. Their defense is on this tight end. So that's where this option route can come in handy. You can just check it down. Easy option read if you want to. If you want to put an option route out there, if you're reading man coverage. Um, the other thing that you've got going for you though is these hitches are pretty underrated against press man uh, this year, like stock hitch routes. 
um, this wraps a circle you should see I can basically pass it inside and just kind of wall off the defender if I want to hit that against press man the other thing that's really cool is let's say they go to a Mike Blitz O, uh, Mike Blitz Zero type of defense where they're shading their coverage up top just like this, and then they're you know obviously putting their guy maybe in a deep middle zone or whatever. That you're going to have everything on this, so the hitches are going to be open. The other thing that's going to be really nice is that this route to triangle should kill the coverage. It's just a simple pass lead up, click on swerve, catch it, and you've got it on the numbers just like that. Okay, so that's kind of one way to run smash. I didn't go over the opposite side much in this video, but I do just want to like quickly, just really briefly touch on this. Um, I don't run smash a ton to this side. I can, I just don't. Um, and it's really good if they're, um, you know, if they're, if they're, once you start to get them a little bit worried about some stuff to the other side. So all you're going to do is you're going to streak the running back. You're going to smart route the X receiver. And then, honestly, what I like to do is just put the post out there at the triangle. So it's basically the same concept. It's just the opposite direction. Um, you could hitch. Uh, you could, like, just leave the running back on a curl. But I like to put him on a streak. And what you're going to see is the X receiver is going to get wide open against the Mabel coverage. So even if they have the 30-yard flats, it's the same thing to the other side. Um, if you run that to the short side, it's not bad to the short side. I don't want to say that it's bad to the short side. It's just different. Um, and, again, when you – taken into consideration a lot of times their user is going to be sitting uh, on that right side like in the hash mark area of the right side of the field uh, I just I don't really like messing with the user that much but you can see here that uh, this X route is going to get wide open on the sideline so it's an easy read um, so what's cool about this play is super versatile you can run it you know two different directions another way that you can run this play if you want to um, is basically leverage the power of the hitch route. So something like this right here, this is really simple, but it's really, really effective, especially if you pair it with like a, uh, well, you don't even, have, all you have to do is just put the post out there and then put another hitch out there. This will beat pretty much every zone in the game. You'll see that this tight end route will just get open on the sideline really easily. So that's another good read that you could have. But those are three different ways to run the smash. I think the smash is one of the most underrated passing concepts from the gun spread this year it actually kills the cover three mabel and most people don't really know that so this is a great uh, a great concept that you can add to your arsenal and if you want to learn the rest of the way that i would recommend you run the new england patriots offensive playbook i've broken down the entire playbook formation by formation play by play down in the description if you want to get my new england patriots offensive guide you can get it down in the description of this video thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time